The tape uh, opens with me getting ready to do a canner transition. I love and there you can see he just steps up into it lovely. And it's quite a nice little canner. Very easy to sit to, very comfortable. And then here I just sit up, give the reins, and he goes forward into the walk. And you'll notice it's not a rushing walk. He went right from the canner rhythm and tempo into the walk rhythm and tempo. A lot of people are a little upset because he's behind the vertical and they say, well, you're pulling him into that. No, his neck is, long as, is as long as can be. You can't pull a horse backwards into this frame. He's just out and down. But the pole okay. angle, the angle between, well, the pole angle, you know what that is, is actually very correct if his neck angle, the angle between the part of his neck and the wither, is more vertical. And you'll see later, well, you can see right there, but you'll see a better shot later that as his whole neck comes up, he comes right to the vertical. And there he steps into almost a little piaf, yeah. half steps we call that. That was sort of accidental. And we're talking about that for a moment. And let's see, what do I do here? But again, you can see as, as the neck starts to come up, he's more towards the vertical as his, the back of his neck back by the wither drops down. He goes behind. And that's that's just, we let them we, we let them work down like that. Oh, there's a little piaf again. Half steps or school walk, we would call that. But I haven't been schooling that. He, he's just doing that naturally. But you see, as his pole is up, as his neck is further up, he's much closer to the vertical. There he went. I asked for the camera, and he went too quickly, so I stopped. And then we got a good transition. Yeah, I, I'd rather his whole head was up more, the whole neck was up more. But that's just the way he is now. And you'll see when we go to the trot, he needs to be that way. And look at how lovely that tail is. You don't get that kind of a relaxed, undulating tail if you're pulling on a horse. Trust me on that. Okay. Huh? Lovely walk. And again, you can see him stretching out to the bit because he has a supple pole. It looks like, you know, he's behind the vertical, but that's not uh, interesting. That, that doesn't make any difference. When the neck is out like that, when the base of the neck, when the top of the neck back by the withers is horizontal or pointing down, yeah, he's going to be behind. And then you see there, as he comes up, he comes more towards the vertical. That's nice. He's almost at the vertical there. And as he gets stronger and carries himself a little bit better, that'll get sorted out. Very nice trot. I like this uh, clockwork tempo is the phrase I used on I the original the voice track. Can I stand in the middle? Again, it's not going to the Olympics, but it's, it's, it's a very steady, easy, quiet kind of uh, trot. And that okay. will also improve with even more time. But by working them in this lower frame, you can see, if you look at the saddle under me, you can see that not just going up and down with the, the legs, but you can see the back itself actually flexing up and down a little bit, which is what's going to strengthen it. He's lifting me a little bit with each stride, just with his back. And you can see he's stepping well under. And that, well, that actually looks pretty nice. Again, I'm leaving him in a long... Okay, there what happened was he, he started to pull through and wouldn't slow down for me, so I stopped him. And then again, he just wanted to run right through. And now he's, he's soft again, and so we go on. Oh, and I had to stop him again. And now he's good again. So yes, I want him to be a little higher in the pole, and that will bring the face up to the vertical again. So I'm not, that's why I'm not worried about it. Very steady tempo in the trot. Okay. Love the way the just again look at the saddle. Look at how his back is working to lift me up and down, and that's why I have to work a horse long like this. <coughs> and we work him long. And, and round now, 
because of their 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 bodies and the way they're shaped. It's just easier and better for them. The modern rectangular shaped sport horse. There's a very good change of bend first, and then you see how I changed the bend, and then we changed the direction and went to the right. And that's the way you want to do it. And notice, I don't know if you could see it, but the tempo stayed exactly the same as through the change of bend and direction. Good. And that right there tells you that it's not being pulled or forced. Constant, steady, clockwork tempo. That's what you need to look yep. for. Because you can't fake that. There you can see he's, he's, you know, again, he was right at the vertical. Still his head wasn't up that high. And then as he gets longer and lower, he gets further behind. But it's not a question of, oh, he's being pulled. It's a question of I'm letting him out and down there. You cannot pull a horse into that frame that he's in. Not sure what we're up to here. Okay. Then you have that nice upward arch underneath the neck, and it's a long upward arch. It's not all cramped and pulled backwards. And again, a very nice steady uh, transition uh, trot. It was a good transition into it. And this would be a really nice trot for this horse at this stage of his, his development. Because it's easy for him, it's easy for the rider to sit to. And as he gets stronger and more balanced, then he'll, he'll have more energy in the trot as well. And there, again, I had to stop him because he was just going to grab on or not turn in or whatever it was. So people think, oh, if you're in the trot, you have to correct everything in the trot. That's not true. If you can correct a problem in the trot, then do it. If you can't, if you try it once or twice and the horse is still doing it, then just stop. And, you know, nicely and rip his face off or anything. Just stop, make the correction, and then go back to the trot. And if you do that consistently, you won't have to stop because eventually, he'll, you know, you begin to make a correction. He'll say, oh, I know comes next. And so he'll just slow down and do what you want and come right back to you. Then again, you can see how much further behind he gets as his neck gets longer, not shorter. Very nice transition in there. It's too bad the legs got caught off, cut off a bit. Unfortunately, this video was taken with a, a camera and, and it was held sideways instead of vertically instead of sideways. Mm -hmm. So I figured out how to straighten it out for YouTube, but we lose something in the translation. That's quite a nice little trot there for him. Again, it could use a little more energy, and in time, that we'll, we'll get a little bit more, but it'll be easy for him. Very nice change of bend again. You see he's kept the exact same tempo yeah. and going from left to right. Okay. That's all quite good. You can see the reins are, are vibrant and alive. He's not, they're not stiff and pulling either by him or by me. Actually, loose in places quite a bit. And I think that's about it for this video. <coughs> I stop for a